Hi class, this is Dr. Nurse. This is a video boost. It's November the 14th, 2010. Um, what I wanted to do was show you a little bit how to get started with your flashcards, okay, which I gave you in class last week. The idea behind these cards is you should glue them onto uh, flashcards, uh, onto file cards as, indica as I indicated in class. But you should also work with them in a mechanistic manner and you should keep mixing them up and forcing yourself to draw the arrows for the reactions. Okay, so for example, with the first one, you would look at this, and what this structure is, you have to draw the structures out. Okay, you would look at this structure and you would say that there would be no reaction simply because there's no group on this ring that would accept a proton from that acid. Now, it is kind of an unusual problem but you would need an oxygen or you would need a double bond to take a proton. Okay, now some that are a little more like what we've been doing in class, for example, this one, um, it's a matter of which atom holds the charge best. So for example, with this problem, Okay, with this problem, okay, if you were looking at this, you'd actually want to kind of, this had an H on it, sorry. You'd actually want to kind of experiment with it and try pulling the H off. Now, um, as I told a few people in my office this weekend, the things that affect PK the most are the polar effect and the hybridization effect. And to demonstrate that, if you have a normal alkane, the PKA, is around 60. If you go to an amine, the pKa is around 40. Okay, and if you go to an alcohol, the pKa is around 18. Okay, that's a big effect. So just changing the atom makes a big effect. Um, the other thing that has a huge effect is hybridization because again this is pK of 60 I'm just drawing these out for you in a slightly different way okay this is 60 right this is about 40 on your table can you see that one sort of and then if you have an alkyne which we've talked about we talked about this on Friday an alkyne hydrogen the pKa is around 25 so I feel these three effects, I mean, the, the, the polar effect and the hybridization effect are very parallel, and they're very, very large. Now, resonance can be big or it can be small, okay, but it can be quite profound. It depends on the number of atoms holding the charge and the type of atoms holding the charge. So as I've been saying to people in my office all week, you have to decide what kind of problem is it. You have to decide, is it just strictly a polar effect problem. What kind of atom it's holding it? Is it strictly a hybridization problem or is it some kind of combination? But typically, when you have something like this, you would go for the hydrogen on the electronegative atom. It just makes sense. If you can't find a hydrogen on an electronegative atom, you should pull an allylic hydrogen. Okay? So, looking at this problem, this is a very typical problem. This is and what I tell people, it's really about pulling a hydrogen, pulling any hydrogen you want, not necessarily figuring it out before you do it, and then looking at the charge balance after you get the hydrogen off. So I'm reacting this with this, okay? What I would be tempted to do here is pull off the H on that up, okay? In doing so, what would I make? And you shouldn't be afraid. Like, if you're, if you're doubting, pull one of these hydrogens. You can do that. There's nobody. You're not going to get in trouble for pulling a hydrogen. Nothing's going to happen to you. You'll just waste some paper and some ink, right? So the thing is, there's nothing wrong with giving it a try. So anyway, when I pull this H off, what I discover, I'm going to write it down here, is that I will make this alcohol. Can you see the green clump? Yeah. And then I will make this 
anion like that looks like this. Okay, now the question is, this is an O and this is an O. So it does not appear to be a polar effect problem because what's the same? The oxygens. What's different? In this case, the O is not allylic, right? There's no double bond nearby. But in this case, the O is allylic. So we should be able to draw resonance forms for this. So I'm going to draw a couple of them. All right, the way you draw the resonance form is bring this in, bring this out. Okay, and one of the things that's interesting about this problem is the placement of this NO2 group, which is called a nitro group, it should look somewhat familiar to you, is such that I can actually get the charge out on the NO2. In other words, this charge is allylic to that double bond. So I can draw another resonance form that looks like this. Okay, like that. And then, right, I could keep going around this ring. So I can actually draw more resonance forms. I'll draw them up here. So more resonance forms. These are all resonance forms, not of this. This is the byproduct. These are all resonance forms. Okay, so what would the other two resonance forms look like? They would look like this. Practice. You have to practice drawing these. Don't jump right into the um, hybrid mode when you haven't practiced enough, okay? It took me years to learn how to draw resonance forms properly. Okay, five a day. Keep drawing structures. Okay, so I've got this. All right. So what, does, what story does this tell? This says in the starting material, really almost all the negative charge is on that oxygen. But in the product, the negative charge is on the O, it's on this C, it's out on this O, it's on this C, it's on this C. What does that tell you? That tells you here the charge is more diluted, so therefore the charge is more stabilized in the product, and therefore this is a weaker base. That means there's going to be a higher concentration of that base, and that means that this reaction should go in the direction. In other words, the reaction should go from the stronger base, where the charge is concentrated, right, to the weaker base, where the charge is diluted. I hope that makes sense. How much time? Uh, 7.45. Okay, so I'm going to stop this one here. I'm going to do one more thing on rearrangement, but that'll be in another tape. So I'll see you in class.